You know, many K through 12 schools are making changes that are against Jesus's kingdom. And there's, there's, and there's lots of different topics that could be hit with this. So how do you decide, what's the, what's the limit? What, how do you decide if we should keep our kids in public school or put them in a private school or a Christian school or homeschool them ourselves? You want me to go? Okay. Um, Jane and I talked about this question this morning when we were driving into church. And uh, our culture is shifting and changing so quickly. Here's, uh, this is a, a blanket answer and then I'll micro it down. Whatever you choose to do with your kid's education, number one, it is your responsibility. If you're a parent, your child's education is your responsibility and you're partnering with God on that and you need to, you need to seek God about the options because I don't think it's a blanket statement. You can't say, oh, public schools is the answer or oh, homeschool is a situation that everybody should do or Christian schools or even charter schools. I think you need to pray through that. You need to evaluate all the different options. Your school district may be different than other school districts. And your homeschool opportunities, some people aren't wired to homeschool their kids. They just are not. Uh, and they don't enjoy it. Their kids don't learn anything. They're 17 years old and they can't spell their name. Okay, that's not, that's not helping anybody. Uh, but whatever you do, in our day and age, parents need to be inc incredibly involved, no matter what. The days of just putting your kids on the bus and sending them to school is over. Uh, and it probably should never been that way anyways. We just, you know, trusted things. But there, we're living in a Babylonian culture, and here's the confidence that it had, is when you read Daniel chapter one, Daniel and the three Hebrew children, Shakrach and Benny from VeggieTales, you know, they find themselves living in Babylon, and they were put into a graduate-level Babylonian education system. But they did not defile themselves. So is it possible to go through, you know, the worst of public school type of situations? I believe, yes, it can be. If God's leading you to have your kids in that school uh, type of environment, then you're going to have to be very involved with unraveling some of the things that are being taught in schools. But just sticking your kids in a Christian school is not the answer because they're going to go to Christian schools. Jane maybe can speak to that. She grew up in a Christian school. And uh, she went through Christian schools and never even knew that you had to be saved, that you had to be born again. Uh, you can homeschool your kids, and that can be a great option. But I think it, parents need to take responsibility for their parenting. They need to pray and partner with the Holy Spirit, and you need to be incredibly involved in whatever you do. Now, what, what do you want to yeah, add to that? Yeah, no, totally. I think that's it, that you have to be involved. You know, back in the day, you get the Friday folder on Fridays, and you kind of rifle through it, and... Now I think you have to like ask questions and get in their yeah. business when they get in high school and all that. And just younger too, like just make an atmosphere where they know it's safe to yeah. come and talk to you and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. and that they're not going to be like, are you sure? You know what I mean? Like, right. obviously you're not like coming against the teacher every single time, but also you don't want to be like, I don't think you got that right, Charlie. I think, you know, I think you heard the teacher, like, set up a meeting with the teacher. They want that. You know what I mean? That kind of a thing of just being hands-on is so important. And asking your kids, yeah. okay, what are, what are you talking mm -hmm. about? And when you hear things, helping them process through why we believe what we believe and why it might be different. Here's, I will say this, though. I will say the the... The scales when our kids were in high school, they're, they're grown now. I would have said, oh, it's, I would say almost in 80% of the time, I would recommend that you disciple your kids and put them in schools to be light in a dark place. Uh, but I would say that as I've seen culture shift and curriculum shift and worldview shift, I would say I'm probably 50-50 now as opposed to 80-20 on that. Uh, and... I'm very grateful. I know that in Radiant, we have lots of educators and lots of godly teachers in the public school systems. And I want you to know we pray for you and we are grateful that God has positioned you where you're at. You're a gift to all of us. And we know that it's been an incredible, difficult 24 months for you. And uh, we're grateful for, the, for the, the role that you play in education. 
Uh, and we need more of that, but at the same token, uh, there are a lot of different options that are available out there, and I would just encourage parents, really be prayerful about it. Don't just put them on the conveyor belt. Yeah, Yeah, and obviously we could, I have probably 10 follow-up questions that we're not going to get to, or, or maybe we could, but... Got a few. No, but my, my one question that I would love to ask is, like, what would you say to the parent where... The, that they're responding almost like they're afraid to try to have these conversations. Like, oh, my, I can't have this conversation with my five-year-old. Like, he might learn about gender identity at five, but I don't want to talk about that at five years old. And so there's, like, fear starts to, like, come into play as they're trying to figure out how involved they should be. So what, what would you say to those parents? Well, I would tell you that if, this is, this is me and Jane, we've talked about this. If my kids were in a school district that was addressing those issues that early on and did not allow for parents to either pull their kids out or to have an alternative option, then that school would not be an option for me because I'm not gonna allow my kids to be discipled by Babylon in a way that I can't, uh, to me, I mean, I remember sex education in fourth grade and you know, I had, my parents had to sign a slip and the whole thing for that. That's exactly it. I don't know. Our kids are out and all that, but I mean, Sean, maybe, you know, like, do they now send home consent things like, hey, this week we're going to be talking about... Yeah, so I have a five-year-old. Okay. He's in kindergarten, and so, so yeah. he's still learning, like, sight words, like, okay. what's okay. the and yeah. A. So hopefully we're mm -hmm. not getting there yet, right. but yeah, I mean, exactly. we get stuff every day, but... And some right. school districts might give you an option. It's like, hey, you don't have to be in this class... But, that, but you're not going to know that unless you ask and right. you're getting involved and invested. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it.